I'll see you, I'll see you, I'll see you. A woman can't be trusted to make her own decisions. Hey, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Atelier Riza 2. Uh, women making their own decisions. Good idea, question mark? I'm the serious JG. I'm the lethal feline. It's a good idea. <laughs> Let good them idea. make their own decisions. <laughs> yeah, all right. I guess I'll give you that one. All right, so last time we were trying to... Uh, yeah, speaking of uh, women, we were trying to find some and murder them, but... Um, we uh, ran into a little issue with our ropes. So let's get back here. We got all this garbage. From all the things we murdered. And honestly, this is fucking... Gem reduction. Okay, so the polishing sand. Okay. Hold on, there's a way to do multiples at once, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's just let's just throw all this shit directly into the fire. Fire shit. I hate this game sometimes, no. Okay. <gasps> because it it cycled over to the tippity top. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it, it would have, like, gotten rid of everything in the world. Instead of just, yeah. Okay. I was going to say, there's Take some things back. in there, like the ring. Nade ring. Uh, don't want to melt that. Don't want to melt that. Don't want to melt that. But I think dragon meat on, I think we can throw into... Ooh, actually, it's a super... That's... A lot of gems which suggests these are probably super high end but whatever i don't care all right you all get thrown into the fire all right and sounds like we hit the jet jet yeah, the jackpot whenever we put those in there that's easy for you to say okay yeah how the fuck did the garbage band end up back on our uh thing to the garbage van. <laughs> That's what it is, damn it. Not the garage van, the garbage van. Actually, you know what? Can we, uh... We are turning the gar We are throwing the garbage van into the fire <laughs> to make sure that we never run into that shit again. Okay. Now, I have a sickening feeling, and, yeah, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But I'm starting to suspect that the big bad floating around on the other side of that jump is the enemy that they want us to kill five times for this quest. Guess we'll see. Yeah, we'll find out now that we have non-garbage band. I was going to say, I knew we fought those before. I just don't remember where they were in here. If we did, in fact, encounter them in here. Well, we're running out of places they could be. Uh, I need to learn. I was getting really good at this during the, again, the end game DLC of the Rizzo 1, which was... Not even looking at the main screen while navigating these places, just looking at the mini-map only. To try to, uh, steer correctly. The dodge enemies. Mm -hmm. Not that there's much, you know, it's not that hard right now when they're all run away. Oh yeah, this is, this is those, like, okay, be careful that you don't, like, bear in mind they will try to get away from you, so don't run into the path they are trying to flee down. Because if so, you will waste small amounts of time. The uh, golems with the go like that—it's like the blingiest golem of all time, right there. Mm-hmm. Except for its twin over here. I, I guess I'm some kind of bling golem racist. I can't tell them apart. I'm working on it, folks. I'm trying to be an ally. All right. Oh, thing we haven't lit on fire. That's weird. Oh, really? A few of them, actually. Oh, wow. You're all right. So at one point, I was convinced that this was, like, a part of progressing the plot. Yeah, in those Halcyon days where we had no clue what the fuck we were doing. Yeah, things have changed so much. Uh-huh. Just golems around here. They really don't provide that much light, do they? 
No, they're very localized little braziers. This is an interesting... No, no, it's not. Apparently it's full of water. Don't worry about those herbs sticking out of it. It's all a big lie. I guess we're but just going to the... drain the water out of the bottom of it and not worry about the, the herbal content. The mm -hmm. herbal essences, as it were. No, it's just golems. Golems here and golems there. Oh, I made my way all the way up that same... Ah, oh, Jesus. I got turned around 180 is what happened. Uh-huh. I blame the braziers. Mm -hmm. They confused me with their localized light. And now it's all very bright in here. <laughs> yep. So we needed to leave and come back so the braziers could, like, work up the confidence to let their glow shine forth. Yeah, the braziers have uh, performance anxiety. That's what it was. You gotta let your soul glow. You gotta let it shine. Hey, it's the dark garden. The garden of dork. Now it's just a big old golem. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh. It's probably good news. Because whenever we do find these ladies, we won't have to just come all the way back to this place and kill it five times. The Colossus Golem. It's so very colossal. It's so much larger than the other golems. Holy shit. It's so bad. Oh, well, now it's a colossal pile of rubble. I mean, you're talking big. You, you didn't see my off-screen adventures in DLC area where it's like, Oh, look, the smallest, cutest enemies in the world. Oh, we're dead. Ten times over from one hit. Oh. So now we're going to walk there or we're going to teleport? Uh, well, hmm. I'm not convinced there's any non goal enemies in this particular Inertia Mine section. Okay, so the only reason I'm going to stay is because I'm not positive if we go to that, like, southwest corner. Mm -hmm. Which place would we pop out of? Is that going to be heading towards the, the DLC? In the first DLC? No idea. Good answer. Alright. No, but I, I believe you are onto something with the, hey, it's all golems all day, every day area. Oh, got some poonies. Neither of those are pixies. They're just aspiring to be golems whenever they metamorphosis or whatever. Dark metamorphosis. Hey, look, we got different flavors of uh, golem molds, kind of. Yeah, we have together. flaming hot golems and then we have gold golems. Fire People's Village? Is that. That's a different area? Alright, so southern outskirts. Cave of Oblivion. Have we been to the Cave of Oblivion? That's where we are now, isn't it? Nope. You're in the Inertia Mines. No? Okay. Cave of Oblivion. These damn crystal bastards. It reminds me of how much I hate the bloom in this game. There's just so many bright landscapes. Yeah. This one's not the worst. It would be the worst in many games, not this one. We were we just the fuck dinner. here, weren't we? Uh, mm -hmm. There's a long-ass path over there that seems like it would be going somewhere and isn't. So I guess let's follow it to its terminus. Okay. Will there be these eternal guardians? Will we level up with all these folks? Yeah. Will it have equal progress? God, I hope so. Will we, all those more. Will we power bomb enough jobbers that we level up without fighting anyone who's won a match? <laughs> wow. 
Well, we got now a uh, mint chocolate chip mm -hmm. golems. Great. Minty fresh golem. Ah There's one. Long ass rogue. At least it looks like we might only have to fight these guys like two encounters. Mm hmm. <laughs> no, 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 respect the hustle, but you still gotta die. The hustle of having lived somewhere that we didn't get around to searching until we searched other places first. No running. No running. There you go. Just fun. Drop hundreds. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, so close. All right. Don't be killed by level five death. So let's see if this cafe is open all night. Changes a into a speakeasy after uh, mm -hmm. 9 p.m. You gotta know the password if you want to get, like, apple juice at this place where Riza and her friends hang out. I guess they're supposed uh, to be, like, teenagers by now. I mean, they'd be slightly underage, but who's ever heard of underage drinking? I was gonna say, let's remember how old our characters are in this particular version. Alright. We will report the death of Ghost Ombuds. Boosters, yes. And stout drakes. I can do this. Literally. So in the first game she was 17. Now she is 20. Oh, she's 20. Wow. Okay. Wow. Still too young to drink, but uh, maybe it's different in this fantasy world. Maybe it's like Germany. I mean, she's got a German name. Close enough, right? Bandits like a That's how it works. The bandits are happy. The citizens are like watch them a kiss or whatever. Oh my the god. City. This is not this is this is oh we did uh we, ooh, we confirmed uh said the students are now like holy <laughs> the, the students secretly admire us. They can't stop talking about you. Prices in all shops have dropped. Wow. City you know, folks almost give a right. fuck. The aristocrats, aka Patricia's day, <laughs> the city folk. The aristocrats. Yeah, we just, uh, unfortunately, the late Gilbert Gottfried cannot explain to us how the aristocrats feel. Because he's fucking dead. dead. Because he's fucking dead. Sort of known. <laughs> wow. Level of the aristocrats, aristocrats have level up. Starting to recognize your name. Prices in all shops. Is that all we get for all of these? Is just price drops? Because. <laughs> Known to a selected few. <laughs> the few being Patricia's dad. Mm -hmm. And maybe Patricia. Maybe she's an aristocrat too. <laughs> maybe Claudia is an aristocrat of sorts. So I, I started down this road because of this vague notion that this would unlock more content. Like it seemed like these thieves got introduced and then just kind of fell off the face of the earth. But, uh... Yeah, maybe Where not. are the thieves as far as their reputation? I think we leveled up once here. Yeah, we're, we're helping him with that. Three. So, yes. Leveling up the bandits should unlock new quest lines. We may see new heads in the morning. Ooh. I don't know that we leveled that up in this run. Let's see what else we got. We got... Citizens, yeah, we should look. students, citizens... Yeah. Let's let's focus in on children and bandits. That one's easy. We can oh, just report in. This one in. A case you tried to make earlier, and I was like, "Shut up, Lethal! I'm running this show." It's true. Keep that shit to yourself, man. You're a guest in this house. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like on Conan. <laughs> Only I'm allowed to dance. <laughs> exactly. Uh, 
a sorcery rose. Oh. Oh, okay. At least he did let me do that one year 2000 sketch. In the year 2000, ballpark franks will not plump when you cook them, but they will moan when you suck them. Oh boy. <laughs> these, are, these are way too fucking good for this quest, but all I gotta do is go like throw a bunch of logs in the fire to just replicate these, so I'll let it go. They're way too good for let this quest. Let it go, though. let it go. <laughs> Healing ships. Yes, healing ships for boss and... I came. God damn, we've been away from this long so... Uh, Tao, Tao, yes. Oh, that's right, that's his name. He, haven't, he hasn't spoken this time, so I forgot who the fuck he was. A resentful scream. Don't have enough resentful screams, no. We'll have to, we'll have to look that one up. Fairy stone fragments. Can I spare five of my 51 fairy stone fragments? I believe I can. Believe it. Dragon eyes. What about your dragon eyes? These could be. Oh, it looks like it kind of auto arranges the crap ones for you first, so that's appreciated. It also might be that we got those ones first. The fluffy tail. The citizens need this fluffy tail for undisclosed purposes. That involve dressing as bunnies. Tea time, friends. Awesome. Don't have enough else sugar. Hunter Fairy on the outskirts. Black Poonies on the outskirts. And out there, yeah, we've done a pretty decent job of clearing this shit out. So let's come back to these in a moment. Let's see. Okay. Level up the citizens. They love us. They will come to you on difficult friend. requests. A friend to everyone. That is us. You receive higher difficulty quests from the children. The children. Good. Good, I guess. Artisans are getting there. City folk, man, city folk are hard to please. It's like there's more than <laughs> more of them. Okay. Boss and you know Tao, they're not hard to impress. Question mark. Claudia's or Patricia's dad's like, yeah, you're pretty good, I guess. Hmm. The merchants, the merchants like that. Are... We we dropped some high quality shit on them there. I think we inserted some uh, some dragon eyes directly into their anus, and they're like, "That's the spot." No, I think that was the the uh, sorcery rose. It was like, yeah, uh, yeah, probably was that too. But double, in the same place. double S ultimate quality. Oh, cafe! Huh. I want to get better. Well, we're already in the cafe, so who wants to get better, yo? There's no map in here. Okay, that's not fair. It's gonna say it's gonna be Zafine or it's gonna be Lent. Boonies. Or we might have to actually, I don't know, teleport might to, to this might place to again. Come back. I'm not leaving just yet. That's yeah. good. Oh, there's Lent. But no, I think you're right. I think we have to teleport in and out. We're up against the Fallujah again. What the fuck ever? I don't even care. I'm so awesome. Alright. Alright, well, let's real quick. I'm gonna throw it on a save real quick, but I also wanna throw this shit into the fire. Uh, Fire shit. You did. So is this uh, is this garbage? It is. Yeah, it's probably garbage. Anything is garbage if you throw it hard enough. Ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding. <laughs> You're our 100th reducer. You get gems. You get congratulations. We may be it's facing a time ground. of day issue again. It is night currently. And who the hell comes to a cafe at night? Oh, never mind. There they are. Oh, it's her. Oh, Karina. I haven't seen her since Otsits. I know this isn't what her voice was like before, but I thought of a new voice for her, so... What's wrong, Karina? You got a new voice, which is going to be laid on us right now. Hmm? Oh, the RZA. She's sexy, sexy, Katrina. The RZA, mm. you know about that part of my personality I need to fix, right? <laughs> now that voice makes it all the better, <laughs> right? 
I have low self-esteem, so I feel the need to please men as a sexual object. <laughs> I see. Uh, you mean, well, it might surprise people who don't know you, but of course I heard that story that you just told me. I know, right? I was wondering if there was a good way to fix it. Well, it's like I knew this line was coming. <laughs> well, you know it's the big so. arena. <laughs> I don't think you need to fix it. It shows that you love something from the bottom of your heart, and probably to the bottom of something else. Huh? I often go outside town to explore and gather materials and then immediately throw them into the fire. I get happy whenever I find new stuff to burn. I'd start thinking about what to make after I bring it home and then it's dark before I know it and I can't complete any more quests. <laughs> I think it's admirable that you are so into plants, Karina. You remember that you was in the plants, folks? She was in the plants. Mm -hmm. You don't need to change that. Karina, what the fuck are you doing in this game? Seriously, the plants. You need a different thing. But I was in the plants before she... Well, never mind. So into it. You know, I'm just noticing, and I apologize for objectifying fictional women. She is very flat-chested for a woman in this world. <laughs> but in this world, she is like... It's like concave as opposed to convex. She I'm... is still growing. <laughs> she will grow into her beauty. I was focusing on fixing my problems with men, but there was another problem. What, what, you, what you talking about? But I realized as I listened to you, the two of them are connected. I'll think about it. Thank you, there is a... What is that hand gesture? Uh, sugar. It's like peace. Okay, we had another little scene of them waving goodbye. She wasn't aware. She wasn't aware of her weird habit when it comes to plants. You know, it's so embarrassing when somebody talks to you and you think it's about one of their faults, but it's about a different fault. So you start throwing a bunch of faults at them that they weren't thinking about. That's the problem with having friends with people who have tons and tons of faults. But how is it connected, plants and man? I mean, the eggplants are similar in a way. <laughs> Is this some kind of pistols and stamen shit? Does she need to get her ass pollinated? Is she on a time <laughs> clock? <laughs> God. We got a grade D pixie pot. And Great. fire rep with the students. Whoop. Yeah, Tao and Boss were really impressed with that. I think City Folk is like a compilation of all this stuff. Could be. So that's why it's going up super slow no matter what we do. I was going to say, students, artisans, and whatnot may actually, you know, be part of the greater group. I think the main thing to bear in mind is that none of these things are sliding backwards if we don't do quests for them, like, fast. Like, there's nothing where, like, oh, it's been two business days since you did something for citizens, so citizens don't like you as much, because that shit will drive you bonkers. All right, well, I think it's time to go hunting for more of this crap because it is obviously leading to new shit. And uh, Elts Sugar? Yeah, let's make some Elts Sugar. We can just duplicate one of the ones we have. Oh my what god. What a great system. It, I, that had not occurred to me that it's such a fucking good idea. I'm full of those. Mm -hmm. I'm full of something. Okay. Yep. Shit. <laughs> yes. That's where I was going. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for confirming. Do you want to make an extra elf sugar just in case? Yeah. Uh, this is garbage elf sugar, but yeah, you're well, right. Well, we this might just, just to have one herbal. sitting around. Yeah. I mean, God, we barely had to throw any shit into the fire to, to replicate this. Mm-hmm. And we had another quest of a uh, make something variety. Well, resentful scream. Uh, if you have it in you to do it, I might need to look that up. That's a that's an ingredient you gather. I just don't remember where. Uh, and then seeds. We have to deliver seeds. Well, goddamn, there's a whole mechanic wherein you plant seeds that we never bothered with in this game or the last. 
You can go to the shop area and just buy it, apparently. Oh, perfect. Now, which particular NPC that would be from, I couldn't tell you. Now, the other question I have is, if we make plant seeds, do those count as seeds? Uh, I'll just make some. It's fine. Either it will count towards this or it won't. Yeah, we'll just see if this plant seeds is seedy enough. Power throw. You can throw these seeds like the best of them. Two of them. Wow. They do, in fact, count. You can duplicate those suckers, too. All right, all right, all right. I just love duplication. I will not bother to make extra of these because reasons. All right, so you said we can go to a shop to buy resentful screams? Yeah. They just go to the shopping things and you will find someone that sells them. All righty. I think they're the shop plant. is the medicinal farm, which. So it's probably. Uh... If it's not here, it's probably in farm area, but, uh... Mm-hmm. Should I just fucking cut to the chase and go to the farm area? We'll come back here if that was incorrecto. Okay. Yeah, they're probably growing these damn mandrake-looking things. God, the bloom. Yeah, you're right, Jesus. This is the bandit shop, but uh, they might be selling. Uh, nope. No screaming deals here, friend. I wonder if buying stuff from the bandits would actually increase our. Probably not. The uh, the, the thing that looks like oil. That's a water area. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't appear to be any more shops there. Yeah, that is not the place. Then. So we should have stuck with this. However, will we recover from this mistake? We won't. The screams are gone. It was a, it was a flash deal. Harvest fiesta, fiesta, forever. Well, they are harvesting screams here. That's well, you told bullshit. me the name of the place, so I guess I don't need to look through the inventory of any place other than. It says medicinal farm. Middle-aged man is not a shop. Oh, this has gotta be it, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, they've got two, so let's buy the whole stock. No, well, in stock nine. nine. Never mind. I don't know how uh, many. You can still works. buy them all. They're only 84 coal each. We could. We could just be throwing them into the fire, but... uh, Wouldn't be the first time we've done so. It would not. Tell you what, we're building up to an exciting uh, conclusion of these quests. I don't know if we uh, can bear that much excitement in this video. So, folks, we might have to come back next time and find out what happens if we turn over a bunch of resentful screams and uh, other and sundry bullshit to the good folks at the cafe. So, uh, hope you will join us for that as we are rewarded with additional crystal objects. Uh, crystal objects. <laughs> woo, see you then.